All right, so the new update 2.23. New revamped weapon for Moss. New sight, feeling IR scope, kind of a meme. And then one thing they haven't mentioned here is that the insta heal got nerfed, which is great because the insta heal was way too strong. You don't need to shake it a second before you can use it, so you can't really use it mid fight anymore. In this video, we'll be using the FAMAS until level 30 and then exploring the automatic option. Alright, so real quick, load on I'm using for now. XP boost to get to level 30. Replace that with steady shot, I guess, if you want something good. Underbow vertical grip. Genetics from the future here. I ended up using a padded stock instead of the underbow while I was leveling up to 30. It gave me much better recoil control. 42 run mag, mono silencer, coyote sight. I'll be using this until I hit level 30, uh, and then at level 30 we're going to try out the auto mod. So right away I can tell you that I have liked using the new FAMAS better than when I was playing with the FAMAS last night, uh, the pre rework one. I'm not too sure what changed, I think the padded stock is a great addition. The 42 round mag is also a great addition to the FAMAS. It feels quite powerful, I am not too sure if it feels overpowered yet. Some highlights from my games. Oh, and right there we can see the new insta heal animation. The new one second it takes to um, as I hit my 500 kills on the FAMAS. Yeah, the new one second it takes before you actually heal, meaning you can't use a mid fight as I mentioned. Uh, the other thing that's in the works is the tides revamp. So Tides, um, on the PTR right now you can play the new Tides, Tides 2 I think it's called for now, not too sure if that's going to be the official name or if it's going to be like Tides and Legacy Tides, but either way. Yeah, oh, and as I see this clip it reminds me, I think the hip fire on the FAMAS is actually pretty busted. I'm not using attack laser or anything like that, but it feels stronger than pretty much any other um, hip fire on any other weapon. And it feels much stronger than the, the hip fire was last night when I was using it on them. Um, in the, you know, uh, the, the old version of FOMAS, the hip fire was kind of bad, but in this version it seems super strong, especially with Automat. And obviously you can see here we're on the Tides map, the original one, not the revamp. I haven't tried it out yet, I haven't been in the PTR. As I hit a nice mid-air shot. I, out of all the different types of shots you can hit in this game, you know, even trick shots or whatever, I love tracking someone in mid-air the most. There's just something about getting like a very nice track mid-air and the person uh, dying before they hit the ground that is super satisfying. I'm also going to take the opportunity, I guess, right now to plug in my stream. I do stream every night at 6 p.m. Eastern, both on YouTube or on Twitch. Uh, tonight we're probably going to be using the FAMAS a bit more, so if you want to see more of that type of gameplay, make sure to drop by and say hi. Oh yeah, this bug. The game is over right now, but I could keep shooting for some reason. Some nice target and some nice aiming practice right there. Alright, and storage was the last map I played with the burst. Before I hit level 30 and I could switch to auto mod. Here's the hip fire I was mentioning. Pretty strong. And uh, yeah, with auto mod, the uh, hip fire is even stronger. But I did not like auto mod for long range. You'll see why I feel like the camera shake is too much to make it a good mid to long range weapon when it's not burst. Um, but as I've mentioned earlier, we'll see, you know, people will come out with good with good uh, attachments and then I'll copy their attachments and then see if it's if I like it. I come up with my setups. Alright, so now that I hit level 30, this is what I ended up going with. Perk, I went auto mod. I ended up not liking auto mod that much. I think I'd rather have steady shot and keep the burst, I'm not sure. 
there's still a lot of exploring to do with these attachments, so I might come out with like a, a guide eventually once we kind of figure out what's the best setup for this new weapon. Added stock, I like a lot. The recoil control is really good. 42 round mag. I'm not sure if 51 round mag has even more decrease in reload speed and mobility. If so, I might stick with the 42. If it's the same, well, of course, 51 is better. Uh, it might be an option also to remove this and go with the marksman barrel. I'm not too sure. Either way, and then mono silencer for added range. So let's see the automatic action. So this is the hip fire. I mean, my aim was kind of off on that, but uh, you can see the hip fire in action. Good. The hill. Oh yeah, more of the hip fire. So that's what I mean when the hip fire is really good. It feels easy to aim. It feels like the bullets go exactly where you want them to aim. And right here, I'm showing it more uh, example of like mid to long range shooting, which is a bit harder. You'll see me missing a lot. I mean, my aim was off to be fair, but um, it feels hard to control with the recoil and the, the camera shake. And that's, you know, that might be just figuring out the good balance between damage and recoil attachments. Maybe giving up the 41 round mag will be good and adding like a compensator maybe or something. Unless I get a nice mid-air kill right there. Hip firing, obviously. <laughs> And I gotta say, Trainwrecks is, I think, one of the maps where I get the worst performance. So it always feels kind of hard to play as well as I usually do. Like, the gameplay does not feel as fluid because of performance issues. And that's all I had for that map as we go on to Arena. As I get a nice back kill here, or no, just some damage from the smoke. Yeah, my aim was a little bit better. Gamepad. Gamepad is so two weeks ago, man. What are you doing? It might also be the case that uh, I've been playing with the Amp right recently, and the Amp has like zero recall. So it might just be like a period of adaptation until I'm able to get like mid to long range kills reliably with this up. Not with this up. With this FAMAS. There, that was quite kind of clean, but my opponent wasn't moving. Oh, so that's the smoke kill I got. There was a guy who smoked the hill every time he spawned, so the hill was like perma smoke for the whole match. Kind of an interesting take on it. Also, it's an example of why nades are banned and king of the hill in competitive leagues. Anywho, this has been Genetics. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.